what's your name? Susan Bowman. Susan Bowman? Yeah. Okay, and how long have you been a member of the Disability and Human Rights uh, Group? Three years, though. Three years? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, three or four. Sorry. Yeah, three years. Okay. Three and or four years. What brought you to the group? Um, I, I like the, the group and also because of the fact that it helps out with the community and stuff and to be aware of what's uh, around us and what we need to try and focus on for disability people and for people that are deaf and blind and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, And what's your favorite thing about being a member of the group? Uh, people. I like being around people and I try and do as much volunteer if I can. So. Um, I like the uh, the the um, the people. They're awesome and stuff. So, yeah. what do you think is the importance of lived experience in advocacy? Um, like um, uh, that's a good question. Uh, uh, um, the uh, trying to get the word out. Mm -hmm. Um making sure that uh, it's safe for everybody, like for disabled or non-disabled, okay. and what uh, what we can find out to make it more easier for other people. And that's my reason, yeah. Yeah, what do you think, um, like, because often, you know, the people who make decisions mm -hmm. for people with disabilities, right. they don't have that lived experience. And why do you think that doesn't always play a role? Because there, there, there are not enough people to help help them to find out the information that they need to know. Um, like, say, for instance, if you want to, not everybody has the computer and not everybody has the internet and all that stuff. So they would have to go to the library and stuff. And sometimes they have get frustrated with that. So they just needed like a community, like one-to-one -one person that could maybe help them and focus on that, that area, what they're looking for and stuff. Okay, so I'm someone who sees this video mm -hmm. or listens to this interview. Mm -hmm. And I might know someone living with a dis disability or okay. might be someone living with a disability. Okay. What would joining the Disability and Human Rights Group? What do you mean? Like um, so if I'm someone and I see the video and I might have a disability, Okay. what would joining the Disability and Human Rights Group. How would that help me? Um, uh, it would help you find information and to um, focus on what you're looking for and um, to find out where you can find the, that information and to try and focus on that area first. Okay. And then when you do find that information, then you know where to go from there. Mm -hmm. How did the group members make you feel welcome when you joined? Um, I don't know. I would say friendliness, um, um, communication, listening. Um, that's what I learned from um, uh, from. Uh, oh, my names are awful. Oh, that's um, with the one that ran the place at the beginning. Um, oh, for Trudy. Yes, yeah, thank you. Okay. I learned that from Trudy, but anyway, yeah, that's, um, it's to, um, you can feel it, I don't know, it's just something you feel when you know that the, the group is a friendly a place, this group is a friendly place to go to, and they're out to help you as much as they can, so that's what I think. <laughs> All right, and if you were to pick one moment as sort of a lasting memory of this group for you, since mm -hmm. you've been a member, what would it be? Um, that's a good, um, I don't know, just the, 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 um, friendliness, um, uh, I've, I've met so many different people in the group, like, there's not always the same ones, 
So there's always some new ones and some old ones, and and I just like to chat and uh, and uh, get together um, and find out from each person what their um, their goals are and stuff like that. So. Okay. Yeah. And do you feel like uh, your voice is heard as a member of the group? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I don't maybe don't speak up as loud as I should, but I, but, you know, um, uh, I, I find that I, I, I make a difference um, in certain areas. Maybe not in all, but different areas. Yeah. Mm. One thing I hear from a lot of members of the group that the conversations. Yes. that you have together are really great. What yes. can you tell me about that? Well, um, conversations like, uh, say for instance, uh, people, you find out things that you, um, from say for instance, somebody likes to do volunteers, or somebody likes to do something different but they never knew that that's out, that's out there. So you'd like to communicate and let them know what you're doing, and then you like to hear what they're doing, and to find out um, if there's any like comp like a, a comparison. That's what I mean. And so it need to hear something different than what you don't expect to hear from you know from that person.